There is a taste in here that you cannot find in other vegetables. And the more you eat, the more it's become tasty and you keep on, you know, asking for it. What this farmer in Hawaii is talking about is not a vegetable, it's a tree. And while Vicky Domingo says it has an unusual flavor, there's more to this tree than meets the taste buds. You keep on eating and eating and you can feel your body is more energetic, more healthy, and y you can see the difference. You're not dropping, you know, you keep on, you know, just so active. Domingo says she has grown this tree on her farm for more than 25 years. She harvests moringa twice a week, all year round. Domingo says there are many nutritional and medicinal uses for moringa. All parts of the tree are usable from the roots to the stem to the leaves to the flowers and to the pod. They, the roots you can use that as a tea and then the trunk you can scrape it, squeeze it, get the juice, put in your cut skin and your skin will heal. Dr. Will McClatchy is an ethnobotanist at the University of Hawaii. He studies the ways that humans interact with plants. Moringa is one of these trees that is a, a multi-purpose plant that fulfills such a high percentage of kind of basic needs that uh, when people get used to using it, uh, they really can't see what it's like to live without it. So I started to read about Moringa and I was absolutely amazed about the richness, richness in nutrients, in many antioxidant compounds, in vitamins. Dr. Monica Marcou is a pharmacologist who has studied many plants. She has done extensive research on Moringa and says it has significant nutritional potency. This subject is one of the topics of her recently published book, Miracle Tree. To me it was just a natural um, pathway from my scientific background and my love for trees to writing this exciting book on one of the most exciting and extraordinary trees of our world. While Marcou, the nature photographer, is grabbing shots of plants, Marcou, the pharmacologist, says she has a bigger concern. We are having an epidemic of cancer and cardiovascular diseases and many other chronic diseases. Um, it, it's just it's because we basically do not eat well what we are supposed to eat. Most of the plants are famous for a particular type of nutrient, like for instance um, the orange or the lemon um, is famous for a high content of vitamin C. The spinach, for instance, on the other hand, is famous for its iron content. Moringa is very unusual because this single plant contains a wide variety of nutrients, but also in quite very high amounts. Marcou says this concentration of nutrients combined with low calories and low sodium content makes Moringa an ideal energy food or supplement that can help offset the typically unhealthy Western diet. Many of the Westerners are also deficient in antioxidant and anti-aging substances that are mostly found in plants. Antioxidants, according to the National Institutes of Health, protect the body cells and may prevent cancer. And Marcou says Moringa is a treasure trove of antioxidants that happen to work hand in hand. Antioxidant substances and antioxidant vitamins work together in the body. For instance, it's known that selenium works better in the presence of vitamin E. Moringa has high amounts of selenium and has also vitamin E. Moringa is well known for being a a good source of leafy green vegetable protein and uh, you, you don't get a lot of protein out of uh, many vegetable foods other than like beans and things like that so uh, getting it out of the leaves is really a big deal and while there are a few other plants like soy that are protein rich Olson says moringa is special I have a lot of food allergies I'm allergic to wheat I'm allergic to eggs soy tends to be a fairly highly allergenic food. It causes allergies easily in many people. Uh, we think that this is because of the, the form that some of the, the proteins are in in soy. Uh, they're apparently in a form that's very simple and fairly easy for the body to assimilate in Moringa. According to the United States Department of Agriculture, Moringa contains 18 of the 20 amino acids, building blocks of proteins that are found in the human body. And says Marcou, 
Moringa is one of the few plants that contains all of the essential amino acids. Moringa contains all the nine essential amino acids that actually we cannot produce. Um, their presence but also their ratio is very beneficial and um, it is estimated that this ratio is very good for absorption and for being bioavailable to our bodies. Our diets are pretty bad, although they are improving. Um, but one of the reasons they're improving is because we're starting to adopt more and more of these kinds of plants. It comes very close to being a perfect source of nutrients in terms of variety and concentration. So that is, I think, very unique about this Moringa tree.